Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a winter grunge makeup look. Lately I've been doing a lot of holiday looks and I said okay let me change it up just a little bit and do something a little bit different. This is definitely very different for me. I usually don't wear lipstick colors like this and usually on my eyes I don't really go for colors like this even though this is more like a cool tone look. I usually go for like pinks and purple, sometimes blue. So this whole look it's just a little bit different for me. So I'm going to show y'all how I did it. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here, my name is Sonia. I go by Sister Philly on YouTube. Welcome. And I really hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave today. It would really, really help me out. I would really appreciate it. And of course, for those of you who are already subscribed and you're already supporting my channel, welcome back. And thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your continued support. All right, let's get started with my winter grunge makeup look. All right, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on my foundation and concealer today because it's the same thing I do in a lot of my videos, but I'm gonna be using Too Faced Born This Way for both. I'm gonna be using um, Maple in the foundation and Mocha in the concealer. So the color that I'm using in the concealer is just one shade lighter than the color that I'm using in the foundation. This is kind of like my go-to foundation for the winter time, especially, but I do use it, you know, sometimes in the other seasons, but this concealer, I use it like every single time I do my makeup. It's my absolute favorite concealer. Next, I'm using my little powder concoction. I'm gonna mix these two together. This is a Maybelline Fit Me in Light and the ColourPop Powder in Dark, and I'm gonna use that to set my face. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the powder on a big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna be setting everywhere except directly under my eyes. I'm just not setting under my eyes because um, it gets dry in that area. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry if y'all can hear that buzzing noise that I'm hearing, it's coming from outside and I've been sitting here for like five minutes trying to wait for the noise to stop and it's not stopping. So I'm gonna keep going, but I do apologize if you can hear that noise. So my brows are done and I also have um, primer on my lid. So I use the Smashbox lid primer on my lid. And then toward my brow bone, I use the ColourPop, what is this? LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. So just in case this is your first time watching one of my tutorials, I like using a concealer or a primer that's a little bit closer to my skin tone toward my brow bone because the shades that I'm gonna put up there, um, they just I just want them to be a bit more muted than the colors that I'm putting on my lid. So I just like using something darker up here and then a lighter color down here. It might look like they're kind of the same, but they the what I have on my lid is just a little bit um, lighter than the LA Girl Concealer. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so that we can start with the eyes. Today we're gonna to be using the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Palette and I got this from uh, BoxyCharm a few months ago. And this is what the entire palette looks like. I'm just holding it upside down. And I think this is the perfect palette for a nice like wintertime grungy look because you can do like a warm tone look with this, but you can also do um, some different cool tones with it too. So I'm gonna start off with this color here, Hide and Seek and I'm gonna transition with that. And I'm gonna be using the brush that came in the um, Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. So I'm just gonna put this like right in my crease area in this particular shade. I don't expect it to show up too much because it is relatively close to my skin tone but I'm just kind of using this like as a guide so that I'll know like where to stop the shades that I'm gonna put on my lid. But I also want this color to help the other colors transition from one to another 
in the entire look. So thankfully the buzzing just stopped. I'm taking this color here, this is called Silver Spoon, and I'm gonna put that on the majority of my lid. I'm going in with my M167 brush. I can't remember if I used to wet these shimmer shades or not, so I'm going in dry first. This is only like maybe my third time using this palette, and I actually think it looks okay dry. Next, I'm taking the color After Midnight and I'm gonna put that on my outer lid. I'm taking the other side of the, um, the brush from Urban Decay and I'm just going to pat that on the outer part of my lid. I'm going back in with the first brush that I use and I'm not gonna pick up any product, but I'm just gonna take some of that black and like run it into my crease a little bit um, just to try and like diffuse these two colors together. And then I'm gonna pick up this color Swoop and I'm gonna use that just to try and like diffuse the top of the look a little bit and just try and like bring it all together. I'm also gonna blend like right on the corner. I think this stop over here is like super harsh. I know a lot of people like it like that but I'm just not a fan of that on my eye shape I guess. I like for my eye looks to be like a little less perfect looking, if that makes sense. I'm going back into the color after midnight and I'm going to drag that along the outer part of my lower lash line. I just picked it up with the wrong brush. I'll just keep using this brush. Actually, I can't, I gotta switch brushes. <laughs> I meant to pick it up with this brush. They look very similar. But I'm just gonna drag that along the outer part of my lower lash line. I kinda recently stopped putting eyeshadow along the entire lower lash line because I have a lot of like little fine lines and I think that they look worse and more noticeable when I put eyeshadow all across. So now I just do like the outer part of it. So we're gonna stop right there with the eyes. I zoomed y'all out a little bit so we can finish with the face and then I'm gonna go back to the eyes a little bit later. So for my bronzer today, I'm using my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. This is a very light bronzer on me, but for this particular look, I do want my entire look to remain kind of like, like very cool toned. So I don't want a very strong bronzer that's gonna make my skin look um, too warm, if that makes sense. This bronzer like barely shows up on my skin. I think you can see it on my forehead, but it is quite a subtle bronzer on me. I'm just switching brushes, but I'm sticking with the same powder and I'm gonna bronze my cheeks and my jawline. I don't know why I keep using this brush because I really don't like it. I'm just putting a little bit of this on my nose just to give that a little bit of dimension and definition in the center of my face. Okay, so for my blush today, even though I want the whole look to be very cool toned, I do think it needs something to kind of offset everything, so I'm going to rely on my blush for that. I'm using the Note Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. I use this a lot, but I'm using it in particular for today because it is a very like peachy, like warm tone blush. Um, so I think it'll look better than something that runs like more pinkish or red on my skin. 
So I'm just gonna flush my cheeks a little bit with this and just add a little bit of color to the whole look. Now this highlighter that I'm using, it was actually a summer release, but I think it'll be perfect for today. This is one of the Fenty Kilowatt highlighters in um, Sandcastle and Mint Mojito. So I think it'll work good today because of this blue color here. So I'm just gonna mix these two shades together and use that as the highlight. And I think the blue will add like a little bit of iciness, but the brown will help uh, prevent the blue from being too overbearing. And I feel like on this side here, I think I added a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go cover that up a little bit. I'm just gonna tone this down just a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks better. I'm going back into the Nightingale palette and I'm using this color here. This is called Break Free. I'm going to use that in my inner corner and also on my brow bone. I'm going to set everything with the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Spray. I love this spray. I've been using it every single day. I did a video. I'll link it up here. I did a video. I think it was my... Um, cheapest makeup that I own, a full face of all of my cheapest makeup, and I used this just for the sake of that video, and I've been using it ever since. All right, I also put my eyeliner and mascara on, but I forgot to put to uh, do my brow bone highlight, so I'm going to go back into this color here, and I'm going to highlight my brow. I'm just using a little fan brush. Okay, and finally, we're gonna finish everything off with lips. I zoomed y'all back in so that y'all could get a closer look at the eyes. So we're gonna finish everything off with lipstick, and today I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this one is in the color Stone Fox. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the lipstick color. It's like a, almost like a bluish grayish, lipstick something's wrong with my wand it looks kind of crooked but anyway i'm gonna finish everything off with this all right i'm gonna find some earrings put my hair down and i'll be right back all right, can y'all hear that buzzing noise? It's back. It, it, it went off, but it came back. But anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot of earrings. I feel like I just wore these kind of recently. But anyway, this is my finished look. This is my winter grunge makeup look. Very, very different for me, especially this lipstick. I really wish I could remember what YouTuber I was watching when I saw this lipstick, whoever it was, this was a long time ago, and she did the, um, she swatched the entire line of this lipstick, and when she swatched this, I went to Target that same night to get this lipstick because it looks so, so pretty. I got this and two other ones, but I cannot remember who that was. But anyway, um, this is definitely not an everyday lipstick for me, so I very rarely wear this, so, I really think it looks really good with the um, with the eye makeup today. So this look was definitely meant to be like cool toned and kind of like dark and grungy. So let me know what y'all think. I really like it, so I hope y'all do too. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also make sure you leave me some feedback in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. And please make sure that you come back for my next video. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.